Crash Bang here, back on the original server, and I've been thinking that I've kind of outgrown this place. I mean, I like the con the stuff that I've made here. I like uh, the apiary chain that I set up over here. I like the uh, farm and creosote production and all that stuff that I've set up. But I've learned things since I set all this up, and there are more efficient ways to do things than what I've been doing in here and while I could rearrange my machinery in here to be much more efficient if I did it would be a heck of a lot of work and at that point I might be better off just making a new base elsewhere so that's what I'm probably going to do I'll leave this here as a sort of a landing site for anyone who joins the server but for the most part I think I'm going to move my base of operations elsewhere probably next to one of the villages so when we come back I will have picked my new location and I'll be plotting out exactly how the new base is going to look. We're back and we are in one of the villages that my wife has found and been uh, refurbishing and repurposing towards her own ends. Uh, she's kept and added to all the agriculture that's in the village here uh, she's remodeling some of the houses, she's redone the walkways here. Each village she redoes with a different color scheme for the walkways. This one is white. Uh, there's also blue, there's pink, there's, there's purple. She likes her color schemes, and I'm not going to falter for that. In any case, the cool thing about this is we have a lot of flat, open land already, which should be perfect for building a particularly large structure which I could use to house all of my machinery. So. I'm probably going to build something here. I just need to find the right spot to just lay everything out. Possibly, maybe something along the edge of a biome uh, just to help with bee raising, but uh, we'll see. When we come back, I'll have the basics of a foundation laid out. And we're back, and I am doing the basic layout for uh, my new base, much larger than my original, which is probably going to lead to me having, well, apparently a sheep trapped in here but also uh, lead to me having perhaps uh, combining multiple buildings like I had in the other base into just one giant building which could work out for the best. Uh, the bottom level is going to be primarily power generation which is why I have all of these water mills down here. I uh, was experimenting with this layout on the other server before it stopped being turned on uh, so basically I've got about 12, if I think correctly, yeah, 12 water mills all connected via copper cabling. Uh, it wasn't working with gold cabling apparently. Gold cable is too advanced for these. They don't generate enough electricity uh, by themselves, or, e or EU rather, it's not technically electricity. So I have 12 water mills connected by copper cabling to this bat box here and right now they're not doing anything power level zero but if I pour a water source block right here it's gonna go over three of them and pour down and underneath and now if I look oh look it's generating power now by themselves these will not do a lot but if I fill the whole basement with these it's going to do a decent amount to help supplement uh, solar power and generators and whatnot, so that's going to work out for the best, I hope. And I'll be able to build other things as time goes on. But uh, that, with my basement full of these, even when it's nighttime, I'll at least have some source of EU, which I can then turn into MJ and other forms of energy. So when we come back, I'll have a little more going on here, have a few more bat boxes set up, and probably start working on the main floor of machinery. See you in a bit. And we are back and I've added water source blocks to all of my water mills and I've even hooked up an MFE which is filling up nicely. Now it, it's filling up rather fast because it took me a while to build this so all of these bat boxes were fully charged <laughs> at the time so it won't really be filling up that fast on a regular basis. I'm still gonna need to add some solar panels to help even things out and supplement everything but still uh, this is a nice little setup and uh, this particular MFE it's up one block higher this is going to be the ground floor probably for what I'm building and 
as I need to expand, I'm just going to expand up versus expanding down or out and see how that goes. So when we come back, I'll have a floor and maybe even a few machines. Oh, um, these spots over here, these corners, are not going to be wasted space. I'm probably going to use each of these corners for storage, probably liquid storage. I can probably put a few tanks in here. There's easily enough room for a 4x4 uh, liquid tank in here. So I could have like creosote oil in one, and over here I could have seed oil, and maybe I'll even have a lava tank, etc., etc. So uh, we have room to grow we have space for storage and energy and when next we come back crash towers will be extending upward see you next time crash bang here and this quarry is pretty much mined out it's dug all the way down the bedrock and normally i would just move over to the next spot and start again but i think I want a change of venue, so I'm going to abandon this site for now. I'll probably come back to it later. Um, it, it's full of holes and looking pretty ugly, but you know, that, that's okay. This area wasn't... it didn't need to look nice, it just needed to give me all of its resources. Wow, I sound like a robber baron, don't I? But never mind about that. Let's go to my new mining site and get started. So. I already have it planned out, sort of. I'm going to mine out the labyrinth. Oop. I'm going to mine out the labyrinth that I found earlier. And hold on. I need to change something here. Okay. I need to mine the labyrinth that we found earlier. Well, I don't really need to, but I'd really, really like to mine this out. Uh, the only problem is the linking book to this place just happens to be right on top of where I want to mine. So I'm going to probably try to mine out the area around it before I mine out the mine itself, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Now looking down, uh, did this, did we make the stairwell go all the way down? Or did we just sort of go part way down and then jump the rest of the way? Um, Yeah, this goes all the way down. So let's just make this a little bit safer. I'm not going to have anything coming up to greet me as I'm doing my thing. There we go. All right, so let's set up the mine. Now to do that, wow, I put a lot of torches out here. <laughs> um, Here's how I'm going to do this. First of all, uh, I'm going to set this up on top of the hill, probably. Whoa! Okay, so that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I dug out that one spot. That's the edge. So if I put the quarry along this line here, it's not going to mine the interior of that space. So that sounds good to me. Uh, let's... got to here. Now, to make the quarry mine more than just the small little, I think it's a 9x9 nine nine chunk that they mine by default, you need to make landmarks. And to do that, I'm going to get rid of some of this cobblestone. I don't need all of that. You need redstone torches, which I seem to be unable to create because I'm a moron. take those redstone torches and you turn them into 
landmarks by adding lapis lazuli. There we go. Now you need three of these. You can use four if you really want to, but the minimum you need is three in order to make this take out a large enough area. And I'm going to put some cobblestone around this in a ring uh, just because when I set down the quarry it breaks these and they tend to fall so I don't want to have to go hunting too far for them. Now I keep forgetting how big a quarry I can make so I usually just go really big and then shrink it down until it is what I want it to be. Okay, it looks like all the mobs that are spawning underneath don't seem to come out further than this. So let's see if I can put this out this far. Because I can't find out now yet. First I have to set up all three of these. If I set this quarry down and it's too large, it'll just tell me it's too large. And we can leave it at that. Uh, if it's the right size though, it'll set up a grid for where it's going to build the actual quarry once I have power being sent to the quarry. So let's set this down and yes! It'll keep 12 chunks loaded. That That's big enough. I, I That's gonna go for a while. Okay, so let's pick up our landmarks. I mean, they're not very resource intensive, but you know, waste not, what not. Oops. Okay, and we've got a nice big area here, too. This isn't going to have to clear out anything in the gap here. When you first set up the quarry, if there's anything within these yellow and black striped borders, it will have something come up and delete them altogether. You don't get those resources, they just cease to exist. Uh, which is why the quarry needs to be set up on the outside here. Because if you set it up right on this line, it's one of the things that gets deleted and then you've just lost the quarry, which costs 11 diamonds plus other resources to make. So it's, it's a good idea to not have that happen. Now I am going to do something that sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. I'm going to try it this time. I am going to add some barrels along the edge here to catch a few things that I know I'm going to get a lot of. Now I have a lot of cobblestone, but I'd like to get a little bit more, so I'm going to whoop, put some cobblestone in these, just one as I fall all over the place. There we go, and I got one cobblestone in each of those. So when it starts harvesting stuff, it's going to fill these with cobblestone. I'm not going to worry about having too much of it because um, all the extra I'm going to just you know get rid of. So let's... Now we can start powering this right away. I don't need to manage all of that first. Let's save some time. So I'm going to need one here and one here and I'm gonna set one right up here too and give you a hopper give you a hopper I would like to put a hopper for the third one also I'll have to go back and get one of those So, short break while I gather resources and arrange all the things, and when we come back, I'll have this set up the way I want it to be. And we're back, and I think I've got this set up the way I want it to be. Uh, so, I have this cobblestone transport pipe leading out of the quarry, and we'll go across these barrels here. I've got two barrels for cobblestone, one for dirt, and this third one will probably end up, well, fourth one technically, will probably end up being cobblestone again, but, you know, who knows. I might change that to something else later. It, it's basically just a catch-all. 
Now, right here, I've got a diamond pipe that does sorting. Any cobblestone or dirt that gets to this point is going to get thrown up the white section here into this void pipe and just get deleted because, frankly, I don't need more than a barrel's worth of cobblestone, really. Um, blue doesn't have any settings, so that's going to be a catch-all into the obsidian chest here. And green, well, green leads out over here, and it goes into the three hoppers that are on top of these sterling engines over here. And this is something where it's going to give me a little more bang for my buck. So what I'm going to do is any planks or fencing, which I know there's fencing down there, or sticks, because sticks get harvested anywhere there's those roots uh, that get dug up, are going to get thrown into the hoppers because all three of those things will burn. Now they don't burn as well as coal even, but they do burn. So rather than filling up my inventory with things that I have plenty of, it's just going to burn them off for me, which in the long run is going to help me out. So I've got my three hoppers over here, where each hopper is leading to a different sterling engine. And as soon as I turn these on, it's going to start powering the quarry, and oops, there we go, oh, I got myself a firefly while I was at it, let's just stick this little guy right there, okay, so now I've got three of these powering it, you can get away with two, I found that if you use three it goes just a little bit faster, and now if we look, now because there's nothing for it to delete before it gets started with uh, the structure, it's already started adding in the structure that will go all the way around. Anywhere there's that line, it's going to add uh, this. It looks like piping, but it's technically, I guess, not. Sort of? Maybe? I don't know. And once it's done with that, it's going to start mining out the space underneath. Now, I know there's lava under there, so I'm going to need to have some water coming in because this will not mine through water. It'll get stopped by water. Well, fortunately, I have some pools over here where I could just make a trench right on over, and that'll be enough. Oh, if only rain stopped lava. That would be beneficial, but no matter. Uh, or I could use some buckets, which I have to have on me, but I think it'll be simpler for me to just take this stuff here quite under it yet. Now I definitely am. Okay, so let's see if I can get this to reach. Almost. There we go. And it's down a ways, too, which in the long run, I suppose, is beneficial. It'll mine out more than I can actually see what's going on. So I'm going to leave this to its business. I harvested some tree material, some logs. I just called it tree material? What's up with that? Um, which I should... Oh, I need to eat soon, too which I can turn into more charcoal to power this. I haven't been using coal cook so much. I've been saving the coal to make steel. Uh, I could probably cut these down real fast, too, but I hesitate to do that until I've gone up exploring. Sometimes there's treasure chests up there, which is you know, worthwhile. So I'm going to get going, and when we come back, I have no idea what I'll show you, but maybe I'll show you what's going on with the quarry, maybe I'll show you something else. Until next time, have fun. Ooh, there it goes.